Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with images within the Ultimate eBook Creator. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to learn how to insert images the correct way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a sample uh, chapter called Insert Images. Okay, and there are basically two ways of inserting an image. The first way I'm going to show you is to insert from a file. Okay, so let's create a section called Insert Images from a File. Okay. All right, so here's my content, and what we want to do is we want to insert an image via a file. Okay, so we go to Insert a Menu Option, and then we'll click on Image. And over here, as you can see, the default is a BMP image, but if we drop this down, I'm just going to move this up so you can see the complete list of drop downs. So we have various, you know, image formats. So we'll pick the JPEG, and over here we have a bunch of images. So I'm just going to pick this image here of a leopard. Okay, and I'll click OK. All right, so this leopard image is, is fairly big which is fine now one thing you really need to make sure is when you insert an image you need to embed the image into the content and if you don't do that then when you render the file to a Mobi or an EPUB or whatever it is so when you generate the ebook uh, e the image will not be there so you need to embed so let's go ahead and do that. So what we want to do is select the image, then right click on the image, then go to format. Okay, and then the format options come up and we need to go to the saving options. Okay, and as you can see over here, because we inserted from a physical image file, the default saving style is embedded I'm sorry, embed original file reference. Okay, we do not want that. We actually want this one here embed data in document. Okay, so for ebooks, please, please make sure that you always select this option for every single image that's within the ebook. Okay, and we'll click OK. All right, so that is the first way, which is inserting an image from a file. All right, so let's move on to the next one. And the next way is obviously to copy and paste an image. All right, so let's create a section again, and we'll call it copy and paste images. All right, so that's option number two. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up a browser and um, Generally, you can do that by, you know, like anything from a browser. If you if you see an image and you want to copy an image from here, or you may even have a Word document like I do over here, um, and you have an image inside a Word document, and you want to copy that uh, image um, into the Ultimate eBook Creator, then what you need to do is you need to right-click on the image and then select Copy, okay? And then you want to go to the place where you want to put the image inside your content and then you just basically want to go edit and then paste okay and there you go so here it is the other way you can do it is let me just remove this the other way is to right click and then you can say paste and then you can say image Okay, so there are two ways of doing it. Now, once again, we want to make sure that this image has been embedded and not a reference. Okay, so we'll click to select the image, right click, go to format, and then go to saving options, and then make sure that we have embed data in document. Okay, now by default, because we did a copy and paste, I think this option will always be checked, but you never know. So make sure that this this option is uh, the one selected um, for every single image. Okay, so we'll click OK. Now you can do the same thing. So we imported this, or we cut and paste this from a Word document. But what if you wanted to um, put one in from a web browser? 
So let's bring up our web browser and once again we can select an image. So let's say for example this image here. I'll right click on the image then select copy image and I'm in Firefox right now. Okay. Now we go back to our content. We'll go edit or we can just right click here and say paste image. Okay and now the image is pasted. Now the image looks like this and I'll tell you why but for now let's just um, we are not we're going to deal with that situation in a second but we're just talking about inserting images. So here's your image okay once again right click format we go to saving options and make sure we have embed data in document. Okay so that is done now the second thing that a lot of people ask me is how do you you know like left right and center justify an image okay so let's talk about that so I'm going to create a new chapter called image uh, justification or something alright now 